Hello Buzzring fans. I thought I'd do a quick tutorial video on different ways I like to use the buzz ring and also just to show you how I like to start the rings as well. Some people have trouble with that so I thought I would just do a quick video. So the buzz ring itself, it's got this large ring with the five little metal washers um, on it. So sometimes I like to use the ring to, with groups to talk about what are the buzzwords that you think you're out here to work on today. And then I have them name each one of those rings. So it could be trust, teamwork, communication, respect, whatever they come up with. And then I say, you know, it takes a lot for all of those things to work really well together. So to demonstrate that, I have this, um, this buzz ring here. And we're going to see if we can get those buzzwords to go all the way around the circle without the ring stopping. So I'm going to get them started here in a moment. And uh, then I'm going to pass it around the group from person to person. And you'll start to see the anxiety level start to rise on the group, um, on the members of the group, because they, uh, they don't really know what they're in for. And, uh, and as soon as you get it started, people are like, oh my gosh, I have to do that too. So it instantly pushes people outside their comfort zone, which is one of the reasons why, many reasons why I love it. So to get the buzz ring started, what I do is I like to take my index finger and slide it underneath the ring into where the rings then rest about um, this far up on the ring. And, uh, um, and then the, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rest my thumb and press kind of firmly with my thumb on those five rings. And then just like you would do a Zippo lighter, how you would press firmly and then uh, flick to the right, that's what you're going to do to get the buzz rings uh, started. So, um, but they won't, if you just flick them and just hold the big ring there, they're not gonna do anything and go anywhere. So what you have to do is flick and then pull back on the large ring. And the momentum of the large ring is what actually keeps the small washers and the small rings going. So then once you get it going, then if you've got someone standing next to you, say, okay, I'm just, it's just a hand over hand motion. And what I'd like you to do is just take the ring from me whenever you're comfortable. So then you just literally pass it off to them and they take it from you and then they keep passing it around the circle. So you'll start to see the anxiety level really rise in the group as it starts to go around, especially if no one has made it stop. As it gets closer and closer around to the end, then there's a lot of pressure on those people at the very end. So, uh, so if it does stop, I say, that's okay. Um, how many? And then I usually ask the group, how many people have ever done this before? And usually nobody has. So I say, well, is it okay for us to not be perfect the first time we try new things? Today, when you're in this program, you're probably gonna do a lot of things that you've never done before. So is it okay that we give ourselves permission to not be perfect the first time we try new things and allow for um, an atmosphere of support with people stepping outside their comfort zone a little bit and trying new things? So again, here's how you start it. Um, you just rest them on your index finger and then give it a good flick. And then if they don't get started on the first time, you just give it a try again, and there they go. So you can also do some fun tricks with the buzz ring, which I'll probably do a different video on a little bit later. But give that a try and see what you think. So if your group successfully passes it around the circle without it stopping, congratulate them. Say, okay, today in our program, we're going to talk about trust and teamwork and respect and leadership and all those things that they had just mentioned earlier. And then um, if you start the day with this, I like to end the day with it as well. It's like, and just say, you know, let's see how well we did today on um, working on these things together and uh, try to do it again and see if they can get it all the way around without stopping the second time. So you might want to get it out at lunchtime or something like that. Let them fidget with it, play with it, practice starting it, practice handing off and whatnot so that they build those skills that they've been working on all day. And then for that finale, see if they can get it all the way around the circle without anyone stopping the rings in one pass. So it's a great activity. I love it. They're back in stock now. So check out the buzzering. Check out this and other products at training-wheels.com.